Can I go first to a question on notice that I asked back in October? Uh, I had asked about a collaborative combat aircraft project arrangement with the United States that Australia was signing, and I'd asked for the status of that arrangement. The answer I got back was that discussions between the US Air Force and Boeing are a matter for the US Air Force and Boeing. Uh, the question was, what is the status of the collaborative combat aircraft project agreement that we are signing with the US? I'm hoping your targeting is a little more accurate uh, in operations. Uh, Senator Air Marshal Rob Chipman, Chief of Air Force. Uh, the status of the program arrangement that Australia signed with the United States, we, we did sign an agreement on the 30th of March 2023, and we are working with the United States closely on understanding <coughs> and developing the, the collaborative combat aircraft system. As part of the scope of that, is there any impacts in terms of ITAR? My understanding is that one of the reasons Boeing commenced the work here in Australia was to have an ITAR-free product. Uh, now there's that collaboration. What are the impacts in terms of ITAR and therefore constraints on Australia's ability to deploy, sell or otherwise use that intellectual property? Uh, Senator Fawcett, um, well, I would say that there is no impact as a result of that collaboration on ITARs, but the system that we are developing will have ITARs restricted capabilities that will need to be considered when we consider exporting it overseas.